Hi, in today's video I'm going to do um, an unboxing of the X-Line 45 inch trolley system and show you how to assemble the product. So first of all with the knife, we'll use this knife just to get it in the box. pneumatic wheel with an axle assembly on that. So we'll just pull it out. Uh, the trolley itself charger. Hose that bracket with the bolts if you've chose that option. Lid and rubber seal. And siphon hose. So, first of all, the best thing to do is to line a unit on its front, like so, and then take off this side of the axle assembly. So, this will just come loose in the box like this. And then, what we do. One of the wheels should already be assembled onto the unit, so we'll slide it through the hole at the bottom of the trolley, and then we'll take the other pneumatic wheel. This is um, a pneumatic one; it's not the puncture-proof version, so we need to look where the uh, where you pump the the tire up, the valve, and then we have the bolt with the small washer. Slide the spacer onto the bolt and then put it through the wheel. We then use the thick spacer, which sits up against the trolley, slide that onto the bolt, and then just finger tight this on. So this bolt is a 23 mil, um, you'll need a 23 mil socket or a pair of grips, like so. But when you're doing it, you're better off putting one set of grips on one side or a pair of grips on one side and a socket and then on the other side and then just tighten it up just give it a nip that's the wheels on so the trolley will already come with the rubber feet attached on there it's already come with diffuse and everything in so we need to put the lid on it's in place and then if you've gone for the wrap bracket option, which can put a coil of hose around it, you'll get a little Allen key with two little nuts, uh, two little bolts. And then that just aligns up here. So there is four holes there. If you get the DI version, uh, which we'll do a different video on that, um, the DI bottle, which is the, the resin bottle for on-demand units, that screws into that position. But if not, you just screw that in place there. Like so. And the trolley is ready to go. So it'll already come with the, um, the, the fuse and everything in there. So to power the unit on, you'll first need to switch this switch. This will then indicate battery voltage on the unit. This is like a kill switch, which will then activate the control panel. Um, control panel, full instructions with a QR code just there. You can switch the unit on, and then you can control the unit. 